hello students in this uh, video we are learning about uh, some more facts we are learning some more facts about column formulas or app sheet formulas and uh, the app sheet virtual columns what are virtual columns virtual columns are those columns which are not which do not exist in the back end data table but we need them for calculation purposes only virtually so uh, how we can uh, create the such columns we are learning this in in this video and remember that we create such column based on a formula so uh, we are learning in this section of our course that how we create formula so in this video we are covering both things means formulas we will learn more facts about formulas we will be learning f formula and uh, we will we will create a virtual column uh, in or uh, app sheet as a uh, it will not be exist there in it will not be there in our database uh, data table but it will be uh, there virtually for our support so that we calculate things how let's start we uh, we are in the data uh, uh, tab and in the data tab we are and we have two columns let's say we create a virtual columns in the data in the task table uh, uh, let's go to the table first to the tables editor by clicking the table tasks we go to the tables editor and when we click this pencil icon we go to the column editor remember uh, now here you can see add virtual column in the top menu of the ta table editor we can say view table add virtual column and we have already seen this table regenerate structure means when we create a new uh, uh, when we create a new uh, mm, column there in the data table uh, real column in the data table then we cl cl click this regenerate structure by regenerating structure uh, we, uh, the, the, the the app sheet picks the changes the the new uh, column so now we are learning about we are adding a new virtual column based on a formula let's say i want to add a new virtual column to task table and the name of the table is uh, this column is let's say budget approval the budget we set for uh, for uh, for a task so let's create a mechanism for that that uh, uh, which amount needs approval and which uh, what amount uh, don't do not uh, doesn't need approval so uh, let me add a formula for that the formula uh, on the basis of which we are creating this virtual column uh, is let's say f we are using f formula here f is in a very important formula as a very important function and uh, f has three parameters this formula has three parameter and first we give a condition and the second parameter we uh, give the formula that f the first parameter means the logical expression is true uh, uh, set this value and if the expression is not true then set the third value let's uh, let's uh, learn this uh, or expression or logical expression is that f budget column is greater than 50 this is the expression this is the logical expression now if budget is greater than 60 return a value let's say uh, need approval need approval the budget need approval if 
it is not the case means if it is not the budget value the budget figure we add in the column budget if it is not greater than uh, 50 what will be the value the value else means the value should be that need no approval let me spell in you a more a, a formula the first expression is the logical expression means we say that if budget column value we set is less than 50 then the value it set automatically will be need no approval if the value is for above 50 then the, the 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 budget column value will automatically be set is need approval so let's see let me save it done okay let's save the changes now here uh, let's see let's go let me go to the tasks view and add a new uh, task let's say let's create a new task and ignoring all other uh, values if i say if i say it is 60 if the, i set the budget 60 for this task now i will have this budget approval column and this is not there in our database you can say it is not there but it is only here in the view for our uh, support so that we uh, we calculate different things that we don't need in our uh, backend data table but here you can say need approval we set the budget more than 60 and here it says you need approval you need approval so if i set the value less than 30 less than 650 let's say 30 here you can say need no approval you can see need no approval it says so it works this is how formula works this is how uh, virtual columns works and uh, let me tell you more about formulas that where you can find uh, facts where you can find you can know about the uh, the the app sheet formulas uh, you can you can uh, you can use the google help thank you so much